President Biden giving his remarks in Poland that we mentioned off the top of the newscast. It's as we enter the one year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Today, he's urging allies to continue their support. All of this coming after a surprise visit to Kyiv yesterday. Let's listen in. The people to live free from naked aggression. Will we stand up for democracy? One year later, we know the answers. Yes, we would stand up for sovereignty, and we did. Yes, we would stand up for the right of people to live free from aggression, and we did. And we would stand up for democracy, and we did. And yesterday, I had the honor to stand with President Zelensky in Kyiv to declare that we will keep standing up for these same things, no matter what. <clears throat> when President Putin ordered his tanks to roll in Ukraine, he thought we would roll over. He was wrong. The Ukrainian people are too brave. America, Europe, a coalition of nations from the Atlantic to the Pacific, we were too unified. Democracy was too strong. Instead of an easy victory, he perceived and predicted. Putin left with burnout tanks and Russia's forces in, delay, in, dis, in disarray. He thought he'd get the findalization of NATO. Instead, he got the NATOization of Finland and Sweden. He thought NATO would fracture and divide. Instead, NATO was more united and more unified than ever, than ever before. He thought he could weaponize energy to crack your resolve, Europe's resolve. Instead, we're working together to end Europe's dependence on Russian fossil fuels. He thought autocrats like himself were tough and leaders of democracy were soft. And then he met the iron will of America and the nations everywhere that refused to accept the world governed by fear and force. He found himself at war with a nation led by a man whose courage would be forged in fire and steel, President Zelensky. President Putin. President Putin is confronted with something today that he didn't think was possible a year ago. The democracies of the world have grown stronger, not weaker. But the autocrats of the world have grown weaker, not stronger. Because in the mo moments of great upheaval and uncertainty, that knowing what you stand for is most important. And knowing who stands with you makes all the difference. The people of Poland know that. You know that. In fact, you know, you know it better than anyone here in Poland. Because that's what solidarity means through partition and oppression when the beautiful city was destroyed after the Warsaw Uprising during decades under the iron fist of communist rule, Poland endured because you stood together. That's how brave leaders of the opposition and the people of Belarus continue to fight for their democracy. That's how the resolve of Moldovan people The resolve of the people of Moldova to live in freedom, gain them independence and put them on the path to EU membership. President Sandu is here today. I'm not sure she is, but I'm proud to stand with you and the freedom-loving people of Moldova. Give her a round of applause. One year, in, one year into this war, Putin no longer doubts the strength of our coalition. But he still doubts our conviction. He doubts our staying power. He doubts our continued support for Ukraine. He doubts whether NATO can remain unified. But there should be no doubt. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. NATO will not be divided, and we will not tire. <laughs> President Putin's craven lust for land and power will fail and the Ukrainian people's love for their country will prevail. Democracies of the world will stand guard over freedom today, tomorrow, and forever. So that's, what it's, that's what's at stake here, freedom. That's the message I carried to Kyiv yesterday. 
directly to the people of Ukraine. You've been listening to President Biden deliver President remarks President there President in Warsaw, Poland, Poland nighttime there. Uh, uh, really a beautiful setting, a huge crowd there gathered to hear him speak. He's speaking on what is approaching the one year anniversary of the war in Ukraine, saying that support for Ukraine will not waver. Also asking our allies to, to strengthen their resolve uh, in the coming months ahead when it comes to supporting Ukraine. We'll have much more on that throughout the day right here on WCNC Charlotte, as well as tonight on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt.